Okay, we just finished showing you some of the features that Google Earth Pro has. Um, you can download Google Earth Pro by going to the earth.google.com uh, page, uh, clicking on resources, uh, and downloading it right here. Just make sure you're either on a clean, very clean Wi-Fi system with uh, all your other software closed, uh, and, or a very good Ethernet connection so you can uh, download the uh, software quickly. Um, right now, I just wanted to show you some examples of things my students and I have created uh, with uh, Google Earth Pro uh, and Google Earth Engine time lapse. Um, here's uh, a project that we did. It was called Beyond the Bend. Uh, my Notre Dame students did a Google Earth experiment. Um, this is a project where I assigned them a data set. They had to pull some data. Uh, of a certain area. It could be population growth, uh, you know, they could show in time lapse how the area has grown. Uh, it could be some statistic about uh, an area that we can show a little tour with. Um, and this was a nice one by uh, Kayla Milko, uh, one of my students. She uh, uh, pulled voting data in Butte, Montana and shows how they voted uh, uh, Democrat, uh, Democratic uh, over several uh, years. But she also dug into the history of Butte. Uh, she's from the area. Uh, and uh, the migration of a lot of Irish from uh, uh, Ireland over to Butte, Montana. Uh, and she wrote a little bit about that and put some of the data in there about the migration. But then she shot this little tour and narrated it uh, in Google Earth Pro. So it allows you to record with the little microphone right into the software. So uh, I'll go ahead and play this for just a minute so you can get a feel for what she worked on. The story of the Irish miners of Butte and Silverbow County begins in Ireland. Many of the miners immigrated from the Barra Peninsula in southwest Cork, though others came from Mayo and Donegal. They traveled from their homes to a town that was then called Queenstown, a port town in County Cork. Today, it is known as Cove. Immigrants then took ships to cross the Atlantic Ocean and met up with family, friends, and acquaintances in Boston. From there, some of them would first try to make their fortunes in Pennsylvania coal mines, Michigan hard rock mines, or other parts of the West. Eventually, many of them would make the move to Butte. The Irish were drawn to Butte because of the copper boom and Marcus Daly, the copper king in Butte who was particularly friendly to Irish immigrants. According to David Emmons, by the turn of the century, there was a higher percentage of Irish in Butte than in any other so it gives you a good idea of the narration combined with uh, uh, Google Earth uh, uh, tour. Um, it gives you a real good perspective of, of uh, uh, where uh, the story is taking place. Uh, this is a nice one by Lucas Mason Moyer. He did a, a tour of all the Premier League stadiums, uh, which was nicely done. I'll play that one for Our a minute first here. first stadium is Arsenal FC Stadium, the Emirates. The Emirates holds 60,338 people and was opened in 2006. Arsenal currently sit in 6th place in the Premier League. Our next stadium is AFC Bournemouth Stadium, Vitality Stadium. The smallest stadium in the Premier League, it holds 12,000 people. It was opened in 1910. AFC Bournemouth currently sit in 15th place in the Premier League. Up next... Okay, so that gives you some perspective of, you know, the Premier League stadiums. He used the Street View version of this. He could have turned on 3D and kind of done a 3D overhead snapshot uh, of each of the stadium as well. But I think he wanted to try Street View and do something a little bit different with it. Um, here are some of our Google Earth Engine time lapses uh, that we've done. Uh, some really interesting ones. Uh, this is of uh, the airport uh, that was built in Hong Kong. Uh, and it was interesting to watch. It opened in uh, about 20 years ago, uh, but it literally just grows out of the sea. Uh, they, they basically filled in this land there uh, and then built uh, the airport on top of it. So uh, uh, Cassidy McDonald built this in Google Earth Engine time lapse. You can see as it grows and it actually expands uh, over time. So real interesting uh, use of time lapse. Um, here's a look at Lake Mead. This is very good for showing uh, uh, how cities grow and then uh, also can drain resources. This is Lake Mead um, slowly going down. We notice it's not far from Las Vegas and uh, Las Vegas has grown quite a bit over the years. Um, you know, there are other factors in there too um, uh, with science and uh, the environment that are in play. You can also show rapid growth of a city. This is Myrtle Beach. Expanding. You also notice that the quality of the Satellite images has improved quite a bit over the last 32 years. So 
Uh, those are some quick and dirty examples of how to use Google Earth uh, Pro and Google Earth Engine uh, time lapse. Uh, there is one last tour here. Uh, student T Tegan Dillon did in Google Earth Pro uh, a tour of uh, the uh, Shamrock series, which is a series of football games uh, Notre Dame has played over the years uh, that counts as a home game, but they actually go play in another part of the country uh, to try and attract uh, new donors, fan base, and kind of reach out uh, to their uh, nationwide and in some cases global audience. Um, she didn't do a narration with this one. Uh, she exported it into uh, Adobe Premiere. Uh, and dropped in lower thirds into it, as you can see down here. And it's got the date and the location. Uh, she did the 3D imagery uh, on it, which is a real nice use of it. Uh, and it just hops around the country and kind of shows you the broad uh, uh, scope of the travel they did uh, when they played these road games over the years, or home games over the years, uh, in different stadiums uh, around the country. So uh, that's it. Those are some of the examples. These are linked off of my trainings page on Google Earth. Um, uh, all kinds of examples down here, uh, as well as a few more uh, sliders I uh, put up there from uh, the Joplin Tornado that NPR did, really good examples um, uh, as well. So um, hope these uh, help you out uh, in coming up with good ideas uh, for using Google Earth Pro and Google Earth Engine time lapse.